The Middle Paleolithic is the second subdivision of the Paleolithic or Old Stone Age as it is understood in Europe, Africa and Asia. The term Middle Stone Age is used as an equivalent or a synonym for the Middle Paleolithic in African archaeology. The Middle Paleolithic and the Middle Stone Age broadly spanned from 300,000 to 30,000 years ago. There are considerable dating differences between regions. The Middle Paleolithic Middle Stone Age was succeeded by the Upper Paleolithic subdivision which first began between 50,000 and 40,000 years ago. According to the Out of Africa hypothesis, Modern humans began migrating out of Africa during the Middle Stone Age, Middle Paleolithic around 100,000 or 70,000 years ago and began to replace earlier pre-existent Homo species such as the Neanderthals and Homo erectus, origin of behavioral modernity. The earliest evidence of behavioral modernity first appears during the Middle Paleolithic, Middle Stone Age. Undisputed evidence of behavioral modernity, however, only becomes common during the following Upper Paleolithic period. Middle Paleolithic burials at sites such as Krapina, Croatia and Kafzer, Israel have led some anthropologists and archaeologists such as Philip Lieberman, to believe that Middle Paleolithic cultures may have possessed of developing religious ideology which included belief in concepts such as an afterlife. Other scholars suggest the bodies were buried for secular reasons. According to recent archaeological findings from H. Heidelberg and his sites in Artapuerka the practice of intentional burial may have begun much earlier during the late Lower Paleolithic but this theory is widely questioned in the scientific community. Cut marks on Neanderthal bones from various sites such as Coombe Grenell and Abri Muller in France may imply that the Neanderthals like some contemporary human cultures, may have practiced ritual defleshing for religious reasons. Also the earliest undisputed evidence of artistic expression during the Paleolithic period comes from Middle Paleolithic, Middle Stone Age sites such as Blumbo's cave in the form of bracelets, beads, art rock, ochre used as body paint and perhaps in ritual. Though earlier examples of artistic expression such as the Venus of Tan Tan and the patterns found on elephant bones from Bilzing's Liban in Thuringia may have been produced by Aculian tool users such as Homo erectus prior to the start of the Middle Paleolithic period. Activities such as catching large fish and hunting large game animals with specialized tools connote increased group-wide cooperation and more elaborate social organization. In addition to developing other advanced cultural traits such as religion and art, humans also first began to take part in long-distance trade between groups for rare commodities and raw materials during the Middle Paleolithic as early as 120,000 years ago. Intergroup trade may have appeared during the Middle Paleolithic because trade between bands would have helped ensure their survival by allowing them to exchange resources and commodities such as raw materials during times of relative scarcity. Social stratification Evidence from archaeology and comparative ethnography indicates that Middle Paleolithic, Middle Stone Age people lived in small egalitarian band societies similar to those of Upper Paleolithic societies and existent hunter-gatherers such as the Kungsan and the Mbuti. Both Neanderthal and modern human societies took care of the elderly members of their societies during the Middle Paleolithic. Christopher Bohm has hypothesized that egalitarianism may have arisen in Middle Paleolithic societies because of a need to distribute resources, such as food and meat equally to avoid famine and ensure a stable food supply. Typically, it has been assumed that women gathered plants and firewood and men hunted and scavenged dead animals through the Paleolithic. However, recent archaeological research done by the anthropologist and archaeologist Stephen Kuhn from the University of Arizona suggests that this gender-based division of labor did not exist prior to the Upper Paleolithic in Middle Paleolithic societies and evolved relatively recently in human prehistory. 
The gender-based division of labor may have evolved to allow humans to acquire food and other resources more efficiently and thus may have allowed Upper Paleolithic Homo sapiens to outcompete the Neanderthals in Europe. Nutrition. Although gathering and hunting comprised most of the food supply during the Middle Paleolithic, people began to supplement their diet with seafood and began smoking and drying meat to preserve and store it. For instance, the Middle Stone Age inhabitants of the region now occupied by the Democratic Republic of the Congo hunted large six-foot-long catfish, with specialized barbed fishing points as early as 90,000 years ago, and Neanderthals and Middle Paleolithic Homo sapiens in Africa began to catch shellfish for food as revealed by shellfish cooking in Neanderthal sites in Italy about 110,000 years ago and Middle Paleolithic Homo Homo sapiens sites at Pinnacle Point, in Africa. Anthropologists such as Tim D. White suggest that cannibalism was common in human societies prior to the beginning of the Upper Paleolithic, based on the large amount of butchered human bones found in Neanderthal and other Middle Paleolithic sites. Cannibalism in the Middle Paleolithic may have occurred because of food shortages. However it is also possible that Middle Paleolithic cannibalism occurred for religious reasons which would coincide with the development of religious practices thought to have occurred during the Upper Paleolithic. Nonetheless it remains possible that Middle Paleolithic societies never practiced cannibalism and that the damage to recovered human bones was either the result of ritual post-mortem bone cleaning or predation by carnivores such as saber-toothed cats, lions and hyenas. Technology Around 200,000 BP Middle Paleolithic stone tool manufacturing spawned a tool-making technique known as the prepared core technique. That was more elaborate than previous Aculean techniques. Wallace and Shea split the core artifacts into two different types, formal cores and expedient cores. Formal cores are designed to extract the maximum amount from the raw material while expedient cores are more based on function need. This method increased efficiency by permitting the creation of more controlled and consistent flakes. This method allowed Middle Paleolithic humans correspondingly to create stone-tipped spears, which were the earliest composite tools, by hafting sharp pointy stone flakes onto wooden shafts. Paleolithic groups such as the Neanderthals who possessed a Middle Paleolithic level of technology appear to have hunted large game just as well as Upper Paleolithic modern humans and the Neanderthals in particular may have likewise hunted with projectile weapons. Nonetheless Neanderthal usage of projectile weapons in hunting occurred very rarely and the Neanderthals hunted large game animals mostly by ambushing them and attacking them with melee weapons such as thrusting spears rather than attacking them from a distance with projectile weapons. An ongoing controversy about the nature of Middle Paleolithic tools is whether there were a series of functionally specific and preconceived tool forms or whether there was a simple continuum of tool morphology that reflect the extent of edge maintenance. As Harold Dibble has suggested, the use of fire became widespread for the first time in human prehistory during the Middle Paleolithic and humans began to cook their food c. 250,000 years ago. Some scientists have hypothesized that hominids began cooking food to defrost frozen meat which would help ensure their survival in cold regions. Robert K. Wayne, a molecular biologist, has controversially claimed, based on a comparison of canine DNA, that dogs may have been first domesticated during the Middle Paleolithic around or even before 100,000 BCE. Christopher Bohm has hypothesized that egalitarianism may have arisen in Middle Paleolithic societies because of a need to distribute resources such as food and meat equally to avoid famine and ensure a stable food supply. Sites Cave Sites Axelor, Spain Petrolona, Greece the Moose Deer, France See also Mousterian Neanderthal, Germany Grotta de Spies, Pie, Belgium Open Air Sites The Ache Saint Vaast, France Maastricht Belvedere, The Netherlands 
Veldwezeld Heze Water, Belgium